Liverpool has preferred the midfield to the guile of Ray Wilkins and what will undoubtedly be heavy going. And Davy Cooper is the second Rangers sub. And making his Scottish Cup debut, winning number five is Rangers' latest recruit from England, Mel Sterling, the £800,000 signing from Sheffield Wednesday, who scored in his only game so far for his new club in the league against Hamilton Eccles. And Dundee United are without John Clark in their defence, with Gary McGuinness wearing the number two. And that's a strong United squad with no fewer than nine full internationals in their starting line. And one of them is Paul Sturrock, now aged 32, but relishing his return to first-team duty after so long on the sidelines injured. He starts a match for only the third time this season. So the referee in charge tonight, one of our top officials, George Smith from Edinburgh. He has officiated over the change round of the teams after the toss-up. So the sixth Scottish Cup clash between Rangers and Dundee United is underway, with Rangers winning an all previous ties once after a replay that was in the Scottish Cup final in 1981 so then the United really have to make history if they are to go through to the Scottish Cup semi-final by overcoming Rangers so the pitch in remarkably good condition after the deluge over the weekend there's Paul Sturrock it's hooked away by Ferguson Challenge there made by McKinley, there's Gary McGuinness, that's towards Patalainen on the far side, there's Gary Stevens. I'll pass, playing it forward, it's picked up now by Sterling for Rangers. It's Kevin Gallagher, now McInally, there's McGuinness, and Patalainen is offside. Caught just about in line as the pass came forward, Nick Patalainen will be a key player tonight. For Dundee United. That's one intended for Drinkle, but David Neri brings it down. Here's Krivokovic. Challenged by Ferguson, who's operating on the left side of a midfield three at the moment for Rangers. Rangers have Sterling on the right side of midfield, Cooper in the middle with Ferguson on the left, and Mark Walter. Walter's providing the option, coming deep from his role in attack. There's Kevin Gallagher. Tackled by Sterland. Well passed quickly in on that challenge with Stevens. The referee has given the foul. And it's against Morris Malpass for handball, I think. The referee will want that free kick taken from the correct spot. And he may also wish to have a word with one of the Rangers players. Indeed, he is speaking to Mel Sterling and uh, Morris Malpass, who became a little bit heated in that exchange. For Stevens. Up goes Neri. Back towards McCoist. He's got appeals to handball among the United defenders, but the referee allowed play to continue, so that was a chance for Rangers. The high ball was won by Neri. Breaking down there. There was McCoist bringing it down, turning with a hook shot. And Thompson was well positioned. It's back now with Neri. There's Paul Hegarty. Which is Terence. Alan McGuinness. Two open rows header. Here's Mark Walters. Another a bitch towards Sturrock. And Monroe under pressure from Kubogovic sends it back to Chris Woods. United have made a very impressive start to the match. They've taken a very firm grip, especially in the middle of the field. There's Butcher missing out midfield, looking for McCoist. McCoist is free. A golden opportunity for Ali McCoist. Well, the United players looking towards the referee. There was a tangle there, McCoist with Hegarty. McCoist with the shot. This just goes wide. There was no infringement, that would have been a goal. It's McAnally trying to find Gallagher with the early pass. Appeared to be caught there by Monroe. Free kick goes to United. Stoddock is the main through the middle striker tonight for Dundee United. Coming from the left, 
Here's McKinley. Caught down by Sterling. Right at the corner of the box. Free kick to Dundee United. Oh, young Billy McKinley showing his confidence and composure. A fine piece of play. And his legs removed there by Sterling. Hegarty has joined by the line and in the box. Jim McAnally with the free kick. Put the cross, but beautifully taken by Christmas. An awkward ball flighted right in on Woods, but that's good handling. Stalin and McKinley again together. Here's Gary Stevens. And this time, Drinkle is the player offside. Quite a number of offside decisions already in the match, both ends. Reflecting the diligence of the defenders and the enthusiasm of the forwards. Goes Patalainen with Stevens. that'll be a throw to United. He's back with Neri. Down by Goff. <laughs> Kinley to Malpass, there's Stevens. Now Neil Cooper. There's Hegarty's header, uh, it's well controlled by Neri. Kovacovic stepping away from Walters and from Ferguson. Ferguson doing well over Rangers, there's Monroe's pass, here's McCoist. Now Ferguson, well challenged by Kevin Gallagher. Gallagher stepping away from that challenge. Looking for Sturrock in the middle. Good control and screening there by Sturrock. As for McAnally, the tackle was by Butcher. Some superb play out there in midfield. Butcher helping McAnally to his feet. a foul by Neri as the ball was in the air coming in behind Drinkle Stevens to Sterland and the header by Goff well the value of Richard Goff clear for all to see racing in there unmarked a powerful downward header and that's a good save by Thompson Butcher taking no chances, doing the marking job on Gallagher for the moment. Sturrock back to McGuinness. Pat the line in challenging Woods. And an error by Chris Woods. Well, that was a real surprise. Only two players here. Patalainen and Woods, and the keeper misjudged it altogether. It came off the head of Patalainen, harmlessly wide. But that's not good for the confidence of Chris Woods. Here's McCoist. There is pass back, not very convincing. There's McCoist. Well, McCoist will be unhappy about that, you can be sure. Here's the error by Neri in the first place. A short pass back. McCoy's closing in usually so deadly from here and hooking the ball well wide of the target. Challenge by McKinley and Sterling. Cooper helps it across to Monroe. There's Walters. Turning away from McGuinness. Goldback did well. Here's Monroe supporting the attack and winning the throw of Paul Higgerty. First real glimpse there of Mark Walters. He's been quiet so far in the match. Here's Ian Ferguson. That's fine play from Ferguson. Butcher across to Stevens. There's Malpass and now McKinley. McAnally with Gallagher in space. Sturrock goes to the right, Patalainen's on the left. And this is Krivovic, he still has Sturrock outside him. That's 
not quite what Sturrock intended, but it's reached McKinley. Well, not full power in the shot. But break there, I think, for United. As Sturrock's ball across well straight to McKinley. That appeared to be off the outside of the boot, turn wide of the target. Walters going deep to win possession. This is Trinkle. Trying to play it through for Walters. A good recovery tackle by McGuinness. And this is Krivogovic. Challenge came from Butcher and Sturrock. This is McKinley. Path the line and now the left for United. McInally to Malpass. Is McKinley right in the middle of the field for the moment. Picking out Krivogovic with a fine pass. Here's Sturrock. Krivogovic is onside. Good move from United. And a brilliant goal by Gallagher. Kevin Gallagher for United. 18 minutes into the first half. And a goal of the highest quality from Dundee United. Beautifully constructed. McKinley's pass found Krivogovic. Releasing Sturrock inside, going for the return pass. Now just look at this near post cross and the finish from Kevin Gallagher. Drinkles header, here's McCoy, speaking to that by Hegarty. Good ball led by Stevens to Sterling. Here's Mark Walters. Turn away from Hegarty, and that really was a superb tackle. It really is some outstanding play at the moment of the match. United providing a great deal of it, it has to be said. As they defend this one goal lead, here's Morris Malpass. And allowed to come inside, the shot came off the head of Butcher. Malpass up again with Cooper and Sterling. But here was Malpass, now just see how firmly he strikes this, Butcher obviously felt that. And Ferguson, with the space there, but filled only by Billy McKinley for United. Here's Sturrock, supported well again by McKinley, he's brought down by Ferguson. Well, I think referee John Smith will now take action. Well, it was Billy McKinley who was the victim. He certainly had some tough treatment in midfield. At full stretch there, Ian Ferguson coming in. He was certainly late. And Ian Ferguson may feel a little bit aggrieved about being the player singled out for the yellow card treatment at this stage of the match. Referee Smith undoubtedly feeling that he had to take a firm stand. There have been some tough tackles, but Ian Ferguson hasn't been involved in too many, that's fair to say. That goes Patalainen, and it's... Sterling, of course, is the ball forward, an awkward one for McGuinness, there goes McCoy. Superb goalkeeping by Billy Thompson, a very courageous dive at the feet of Ali McCoy. Well, the referee, oh, I'm going to continue now, but look how courageous Thompson was here. McCoy is going fairly for the ball, that was the view the referee took, and Thompson recovers quickly. Appeared to be obstruction by Cooper on McInally, but Drinkle now in the break with the early ball inside. But Ali McCoy, there's Malpass. And coolness personified from Morris Malpass. Superb defending once again. Good break though by Rangers. Drinkle playing it towards McCoy. Malpass knew he had that under control. Good header down by Butcher. This is Gary Stevens. Here's McCoy. And now Mark Walters. 
Making for the byline. Back on his left foot now. And under then low there by Stevens. Good effort by the fullback. Set up for him by Walters. First time shot. Crisply struck with the weight of the target. Well, the referee spotted a deflection there to give Rangers a corner kick right at the end of the first half. We're into time, added on for stoppages now. A spot of treatment for Mel Sterland. Kutcher pouched, waiting for the corner. Walters plays it across, it's aimed for Butcher. There's Malpass considering another corner. So United under siege in the closing stages of the first half, and there goes the half-time whistle. A tremendous first half, and the only goal coming from Kevin Gallagher, and it really was a goal to save her. 18 minutes on the clock, McKinley's pass. Here was Krivogovic, and Starak Krivogovic again. They just look for Kevin Gallagher coming into the near post. With that stunning finish to so the half-time score, Rangers nil, Dundee United one. Don't miss the second half. Well, welcome back to Ibrox for the second half, with United leading by one goal to nil, and Rangers have made one very significant change for the start of this second half. They've brought on Ray Wilkins. There he is, winning number 12, and he replaces Neil Cooper in the heart of the Rangers midfield. Back it goes to Monroe. It's McCoy, and Brinkle. Back with Sterling, here's Stevens. And it's cut off there by Wallace Malpass. Todd coming quickly to the ball. Here's Ian Ferguson. Space now for Walter. This is promising for Rangers. Kovacovic is the first player to challenge Walters. And the block from the cross means a corner kick to Rangers. Walters. Butcher is there. Butcher gets a well and a save by Thompson. Well, Butcher is so dangerous from these set pieces. Look how well he gets up to beat Paul Hegarty. And had a difficult under the crossbar until Thompson turned it over. Sterling there on the near post. Butcher and Goff together, waiting to make the run. In by Walters. Got it down by Hegarty, helped away by Sturrock. Here goes Gallagher. Challenged by Stevens. Ferguson doing well for Rangers, linking with Sterling. This is Walters. Malpass wins it for United. And Patalainen concedes the throw. Rangers now in full try as they battle for the equaliser. Here's Ray Wilkins. Now Walters again. He has to take on Malpass and Patalainen. Well, the cross goes in! Great goal for Rangers! Walter Smith is on the track! second half. Rangers and United tied at one goal apiece and the referee having a word now with Ray Wilkins and Jim McAnally. Something which happened off the ball between the two players. Now just listen to the Rangers fans. Here's Mel Sterland. It's blocked by McKinley. Well, the Rangers fans now jubilant. They saw their favourites coming off second best for long periods in the first half, but now it's all square. And Rangers dominating the second half so far. United always menacing when they come forward. There's McKinley. Stevens lofts it forward. This is David Neri, now Malpass. Looking for Gallagher, it's won by Goff. Now Hegarty. 
Gallagher helps it on. Here's Thurrock now in space. Faced by Butcher. Playing it low inside. The shot goes in. And a great opportunity wasted by Kevin Gallagher. Well, it was Paul Sturrock breaking through the gap there, looking up, laying it inside, looking for Kevin Gallagher. More power in the shot, and Woods makes the save. Nice mal pass. And a foul against Sterling. Mal pass going to play the ball, and Sterling going in a bit late and a little bit high. And his free kick. Goff did well. That's Wilkins switching the play again, using Walters. Ferguson racing through in support of Drinkle through the middle. Will Walters looks very much in the mood now. And that coming off the United defender and giving Rangers yet another corner kick. Goes Butcher, a powerful header. Returned by McGuinness. Wolf was waiting that challenge well, but he was pushed from the back by McGuinness. Ferguson couldn't control it, but there's going to be another free kick on the halfway line to Rangers. Perhaps the referee wasn't satisfied with the way the quick one was taken. So midway through the second half, Rangers won, Dundee United won. Rangers certainly having the bulk of the attacking play now. That came off Krivovic for the Rangers throw. Here's Drinkle. Back with Wilkins and now Walters again. Wilkins to Monroe. Playing it through for Wilkins. Pacoist. Ferguson, Drinkle trying to go past Hegarty, this is Ian Ferguson, foul pass is there, it's Ferguson again, Catalina and back defending, but still the pressure's on, there's Sterland, and Hegarty helps it on to safety, Ian Ferguson trying to turn away from Neri, Neri wasn't deceived by that quick turn, here's Krivogovic, tackled by Ferguson, throw to United, Ferguson battling heroically for Rangers. And now Dundee United would like to make a substitution. And there's Alan Irvin. Missed much of the season through injury, and he will replace Paul Sturrock. Well, of course, Sturrock has started the game so well, and he's replaced by Irvin.
Catalanian battling hard now Gallagher brought down by Butcher well he's frustrated clearly the Rangers skipper but he did appear to bring down Kevin Gallagher he has a good opportunity from outside the box for Dundee United Chris Woods organising the wall there will be a substitution made by United Oh, we'll have to go back a little bit further, I'm sure. There's Dave Bowman waiting to come on. He will replace Mir Drag Krivogovic. Ruffy Smith allows the change to be made before the free kick. McKinley over the ball, so is Jim McInally. Rugby now appears satisfied, it appears to be scarcely 10 yards. <laughs> McInally finds the wall in the way, and then second effort, none too convincing. His mile pass. Trying to beat any offside trap. Battalion lays it inside. Here's Kevin Gallagher. Butcher hooks the ball away. Gallagher getting up with. Monroe, a little bit too vehement with that challenge, and he's been penalised. He didn't use an arm when he challenged Monroe for the ball. Well, no question, the arm was up from Gallagher. That appeared to catch Stuart Monroe around the face. And that's why the Rangers pull back needs treatment. on the forehead for Stuart Monroe. Well, David Cooper warming up for Rangers, the second Ibrox substitute. Quite a bad cut that on the forehead of Stuart Monroe. I wonder if he will be able to continue. You can be sure he will be very upset indeed if he has to go off. And all the spoils of battle there. Malpass, there's Gary Stevens. Of course, it's on site, played on by Malpass, a chance now for Rangers, and Malpass goes forward. There's Ian Ferguson and Walters. Finger tipped away by Thompson. And the referee now reacting to the linesman's signal that it is a corner kick to Rangers. It was a fine save by Billy Thompson. Well, thank you, Malpass. Then Ian Ferguson came in, and it's landed effort from Mark Walters from the side by Thompson. The Rangers now going for the kill. Get up from the back. Drinkle's header, and it's over the top. Came off his marker well, Kevin Drinkle. Alan misjudged the flight slightly. There's Gary Stevens. Well pass to McKinley. There's David Neary. Gallagher making space in the inside left channel, followed by Butcher. Butcher being very careful with the tackle inside the box. Now it's with Irvin. Good disguise play. A fine cross. The header. Is 
back all even. Big Sue Patalainen, 16th goal of the season. And what a match this is. Here goes Mark Walters. Taking on Bowman. The ball's turned away by McGuinness, but I fancy that'll be a free kick against Bowman. Referee stood right on the spot. Well, four goals in the match so far, and every one a special one to see. Here goes Butcher. Followed back by Goff to Trinkle, and the collection sends it over. Well, Trinkle trying very hard to keep that under the crossbar. Butcher doing well. So too did Richard Goff setting it up for Kevin Trinkle. And it appeared to be Malpass who sent it over. Alan Irvin's header. Well forward by Butcher. Trinkle up with Mary. There's Ali McCoy. Opportunity for McCoy, by his standards, I think he would have expected to do better with that. Drinkle causing the problem for Neri, the ball breaking through there for McCoy. He missed a couple of chances in that sort of area in the first half, and there's another one slewing wide of the target. Sterling's header returned by Neri into midfield for Bowman. The header goes behind McGuinness, but he's quick enough in the recovery. Well, now into time added on for stoppages. There hasn't been a great deal of that. A stoppage for Stuart Munro when he took that face cut. There's Ian Ferguson turning it back to Chris Woods. Scarcely enough time for either side to snatch a winner now. The referee's been checking his watch as Malpass collects for United. This is Patalainen. Richard Goff playing it inside for Ferguson. There's Malpass lofting it forward. Richard Goff underneath it. There is Sterling lofting that back safely to Woods. Headed on by Hegarty. It's collected by Ferguson in midfield. Here's Sterling. Goff has gone forward looking for the winner. There's Walters tackled well by McGuinness. Now Alan Irvin. To get away from Wilkins and Monroe. He's done well, Irvin. He's won a throw on the far side. Had more than a minute now of stoppage time. That just about reflects the time taken by Stuart Monroe when he was injured. Throw goes to Rangers. Bowman still debating the position with Walters. That is really foolish because Bowman's been lectured already. And there goes the final whistle. A truly magnificent Scottish Cup quarter final. United holding sway in the first half. Rangers hitting back and Ali McCoy giving them the lead after Trinkle's equaliser. And then Miksu Patalainen popping up 10 minutes from the end with a superb header to set up a replay at Tanadise. It really was a magnificent match here at Ibrox. And the final score Rangers 2, Dundee United 2.